Hello, my name is Alex. Uh, this is my 2013 SJ Cruiser, and uh, it's for everything that's kind of needed to kind of kind of go out there in the wild. Um, so that includes a winch, full skid plates, full um, rock rails. Um, we do have off-road lights, and they've made a huge difference in the dust or at night or finding camp at night. You know, it allows us to drive you know two, three more hours a day, which is huge. Um, the reason I have a come up winch, and the reason I went with come up versus any other ones is I saw a video from Eric from Rogue Overland who kind of gave a demonstration of it, and he talked a little bit of his design philosophy, and all of this stuff that he did, and he has years of experience, I kind of copied it. <laughs> to be honest, I copied a lot of stuff, like the aluminum DeMello bumper for lightweight, because as we know, these are Overland rigs, but they really should be called overweight rigs, like, and I'm always looking to cut weight, but some things I won't cut. Absolutely, the 180 awning will not cut it. Like that makes a huge difference. Even when you're airing up in the desert, it's you know 10 seconds up, 10 seconds down. So if you want lunch or something, amazing. We have a quick shower awning in case like you want to take a quick shower in the summer. We also have a shower tent, and that's mostly for the winter or for privacy when you're in a bigger group and so forth. <clears throat> but yeah, all the suspension, I kind of picked cherry picked it, so it's a lot of fox suspension. Um, but we try to maximize the long travel and so forth, but also not down, but also up. So the rear actually has Tundra shocks that have been modified to fit the 120 platform, um, which is cool because we get a little like an inch or so more of articulation, which makes a huge difference on the trail. Um, I think from a standpoint of like utility, um, we have a phone out on the inside of Bison Overland. And now it's made a huge difference from like being able to navigate and so forth. I've used cheap cell phone mounts and they don't work. For the FJ platform, that's made a huge, huge difference being able to bolt it. I know Jeeps, 4Runners, Tacomas, they have their own built-in ones, but it wasn't until this year, which is 2023, like that something came out for the FJ. So that's been one of my favorite mods because we use it absolutely for like mounting little cameras or GoPros or absolutely anything. I think definitely we want to go definitely go to Colorado, maybe Oregon. Um, we've done a, a super long trip to Kelly and that was, the gasoline was more expensive than anything else. <laughs> but it was completely worth it. So I think maybe, maybe Colorado, just a good distance. Um, but yeah, we have a few trips planned and we try to go quite often, but I think Colorado would be the next one. It was, it was amazing. I would definitely recommend to anyone, go on a Calvary Overland adventure. It is unbelievably the most stress-free overland experience like I don't like usually you have so many things to take care of I mean they have breakfast for heaven's sakes like <laughs> so it definitely lets you be able to have a community you know not have to worry about like oh what you know what's for dinner and so forth like you know somebody else you know will chip in and so forth so it's that community aspect that makes it good